Welcome back to Let's Go Racing. What does top trainer Kenny McPeak look for when he's at the sales to buy Young Horse? He's got a lot of success in doing it, and he's got one of the most talented eyes in the business. There is no question. I mean, he, as you said, Danny's had a lot of success doing it. His major success was Curl, and he bought Curlin for 57000 Unfortunately, the owners ended up being unscrupulous people. They ended up selling him for $3.5 million, and everybody knows the rest of the story with Jess Jackson and two-time Horse of the Year with Steve Asmussen. But Kenny was the guy who found Curlin. Well, Curlin, one of the greats and a top sire. Here's a more up close with trainer Kenny McPeak from his Magdalena Farms. Horses are like stars, like constellations, okay? So when you're looking at a horse from the side, you're looking at what I'd call points of reference. So you're looking at points of reference on the horses from a side angle, and you're also going to look at them from a, from a walking angle. So as you stand him up, points of reference are point of the nose, the top of the head of the pole, point of the withers, point of the chest, bottom of the girth. So this right, this triangle right here to here is a is a how much air capacity a horse may or may or may not have. Another point is the hip, top of the butt, here, stifle, hock, hind fetlock, pastern, even the angles of the feet all have points. Same thing with the front. The length here, knee obviously, ankle, foot. So when you're looking at a horse, you're looking at the, even the length of the neck, the angle of the shoulder. So when I'm looking at yearlings or even older horses, I mentally take a picture, okay? Boom, boom, and I'm looking through all these points. Race horses are like Big Dippers and Little Dippers. You've got, the Little Dippers would be the Northern Dancers. The Big Dippers might be the Roberto line. So you're looking at all these angles, and you're trying to, like you don't want a horse that's too long. You don't want a horse that's too short. You want so that, that, that they have a symmetry that matches what good horses have. Then the angles that you analyze is from the back. So I'll look at a young horse and I'll say, okay, stand up. And then I'll say down and back. This horse got a really good hind leg on him. And he won stakes because of that. So the way a horse walks through itself and the efficiency of the movement dictates you know, how, 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 they, how much ground they cover and how efficient they are at covering ground. Is another, walks through himself really nice. Got a nice link to his pastern. This horse is a really good walking horse. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch how a horse oversteps. See how the front foot lifts and the hind crosses, lifts and crosses. The longer the overreach, the longer the runner. So, so in other words, the shorter the walking horse, the shorter distance that they typically prefer, the longer the reach, the longer races that they prefer. And racehorses come in all different shapes and sizes. I mean, so so you're gonna get you're gonna get bigger horses that have talent. So you have little horses that have talent. The key is 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 finding a pattern, whether it's a small horse or a large horse. And you want efficiency, you want balance. And then the other thing I look at is is a look at a horse's eyes, um, certainly their ears how they pay attention to things, and Int that's intelligence. That's something that you, there's, there you go, pay attention there. He knows I'm talking about it. Kenny, obviously one of the greats in the business, and we wish him all the luck with his gray Colt creative minister in the upcoming Belmont. Yeah, for a lot of reasons. One, because Kenny's a friend of the program, and two, because if he wins and he comes to the Pennsylvania Derby, it's 50000 just for showing up for winning a Triple Crown race. So Kenny's done that before. He knows the way to parks. He certainly does. And I have to say it was really cool at the Kentucky Derby getting to see in his office. <laughs> we got to take a look at his training chart and yep. just what a well-run operation he really has. Yeah, no, he's, he's really one of the cool, and he's one of the guys who's very open in the business. A lot of times people won't tell you stuff like Danny said. He invited us right into the tack room and said, hey, here's what's going on.